Okay, so you see the GPS working, so now I'll explain the components is made up of and how I done it. So this is one the second one which I'm making at the minute. And you can see here the 10 inch touch panel, the 3D printed case which comes in two halves, and the computer which runs all the code, controls everything. Touch panel is 80 pounds. It's ninety pounds if HMRC catches you importing it and charges you extra. Uh, the computer in the back is thirty-five pounds, uh, plus the SD card, forty pounds. So we're at one hundred and twenty pounds so far. Then you also need a GPS module. I use this, which is forty pounds. Uh, you do have to make your own circuit board for it, which looks like this. And um, if you don't want to do that you can buy one pre-built for about £90. And finally you need the antenna, which is about £80 for a really good antenna. So your total cost is 120 plus 80 plus 40. That is £240 for RTK GPS. Now, for the RTK functionality, you do need a base station. There are free base stations available over the internet. But for me, I live a bit too far away from the nearest free base station, which is in Enniskillen. And um, so instead I put my own base station on the farm. And that cost me about another £200. Yeah. So the hardware is fairly straightforward actually. It's not too complicated. It's essentially just plugging things together. The software is the more complicated bit. So this is the software which controls the GPS is what you've seen on the screen, this controls the map, the guidance lines, this controls all of the controls, all of the buttons, all of the database interactions. Um, no, this is not the software. This is the software. It looks exactly the same, you'll never tell the difference. But it's written in a language called Python, uh, or WX Python to be specific, uh, and this is what runs on the Raspberry Pi, this is what controls everything. So this gets uh, corrected coordinates from a free program which I did not write, which is called RTKLib. So RTKLib is written by a Japanese guy, and it basically takes the raw information from my GPS in the tractor and combines it with the base station information, which is the corrections coming from the farm over the internet, combines the two and gives me back really accurate coordinates. So there you go. RTK GPS, which is accurate to about 10 centimeters, repeatable to 10 centimeters, for 240 pounds, which is over an order of magnitude cheaper than any commercial alternative without any yearly fees. The Ntrip server, everything is free, open source software, which anyone can use. Um, the problem I had whenever I first started trying to build my own GPS was that I couldn't find any free software to do the guidance part of it which I had to write myself. Um, and I suppose I might make this software available uh, once I'm confident all the bugs are gone because it still does uh, cause problems if you throw something unexpected at it and it still does take a bit of uh, me fixing it to keep it going. But we're getting, very, we're getting a lot more reliable than it used to be. And uh, I'm sure at some point in the near future, I will be able to probably give this software away for free. So next steps for me are auto steer, that'll be fairly simple, plan to do that uh, this year. Um, it realistically has no purpose other than I just want to see if I can do it. And it would also be a really good stepping stone on to try to um, possibly automate uh, a small tractor or something in the future. Um, there is a farmer in America who's made a self-driving tractor, his fields are massive. He doesn't have to worry about driving into rivers or into people, which is probably my main, what my main issue will be. Um, but I'd still like to try it, and it is, to be honest, it's actually fairly simple. Uh, people make out that it's very complicated, but it's really not. So I hope you find this interesting. Uh, I really enjoy all this sort of tinkering around with computer code and hot electronics and stuff. Um, and if you've never written computer code or anything, it's actually not that difficult. It is way it looks way more difficult than it actually is.